Uh, this is one of the longer videos we've put together. And I'm just going to demonstrate how my workday goes. I'm going to show you several different craft types. So sit back and enjoy. So we're going through a um, block of red uh, kiwi that um, they, they were affected by the cyclone. So there's, there's a lot of um, areas where they've had to replace plants. And there are rootstocks where trees have given up because of PSA. So we're now going back through and repairing some of these uh, sites. I'm using um, both my 14 and 20R for this job. This is the 20 in my hand. It'll pretty much eat that stuff up. You can see that's around my fingers and thumb diameter. Just making my tongue about a third of the way down. I'm not quite able to match the wood as well as I was when we started the day. We've used most of the big wood up. And the other issue that we've got is we've got a limited amount of buds, so I'm trying to save buds where I can. If they're too close together, there's no point cutting them because the sign will split through the tongue and then you've wasted it anyway. Using buddy tape to tape them on, great product. You can tape over buds and they'll grow through it. And less wastage. I'm sealing with a, a product called Garrison, Garrison Rapid. I use an, another product too, uh, Prune Tech, but uh, they're the blue paints I use in my uh, videos. We've noticed since we started that we are getting a bit of bleeding now. So, we are nicking off those couple of buds below the sign as bleed points and we'll just give them a squirt with our sterilant. Right. I am also sterilizing my tools between plants. Uh, there's quite a few different ones out there. Some of them are a bit harsh on the tools. But um, it's a chore, but we have to do it. It does slow us down a bit, but um, we, want, we want these guys to survive because we want to survive. You might have noticed that I always start my cut away from the edge and drive it through with a bit of pressure down when I'm closing the handles. That's the best way to cut this heavy material. Flip the tool up, basically upside down in your hand and you've got more power. You can fling your arm out, close the jaws, pull the wood back. Very easy way to cut that heavy wood. That one hasn't gone on too bad. Just got to get used to the stretch of the tape. As the day heats up it gets a little bit easier to use and then it, it gets harder to use as it, as it gets very soft but good product. Um, I'm using the same knife to nick those um, buds off because the sterilant's going on anyway. Whoops, a little bit carried away there. Okay, so they've thrown something a bit different at us. We'll just have a look at this to see that it's okay. Right, I'm going to try a bit of a wedge graft in here.
Ich muss hier als Katze. Okay. So the wedge graft is similar to the cleft, but the, the one of the faces is uh, wider. And normally I'd have a screwdriver or something to open that up. But we'll see how these secateurs go. Now, I will be positioning that further back in the bark because the cambium is further back on the uh, stock um, itself. We're doing a bit of um, cleft grafting now on these heavier ones because we've got no wood anywhere near that diameter. I'll try my 14 R's on this. So just holding them and pinning at the back, trying to get the blade central, cut in and press down. Now to go a bit deeper I release the black handle which pulls the pins away, I can reposition them and then I can slice in a bit deeper. Looking for a piece of wood that's fairly straight where I've got room to work. I'm placing the material in the jaw at the step B. Looking for a fairly centrally cut sign. Just go again there. Looking to line up the side that I can see, which is away from the camera. Just walk it out a little bit at the top to keep the cambium contact there. I'm going to use this um, sign-on cling film tape, sign-on grafting tape. It's, it's a good uh, product for these heavier diameters, a little bit thicker and pliable. tear off it will cling to itself but I will take the precaution of putting a dab of paint where I've torn off not all over my hand though thank you one of my best purchases this open wheelbarrow I can carry everything I need um, there's tools that I sometimes use infrequently occasionally I'll need a saw um, I've got extra tape knives I can carry my sterilant um, Great, great, great purchase. Love it. Uh, this is the diameter is a bit on the big side. I've run out of the wood that will match ideally on this, so we're going to be lining up on one side. I can use my 20R for this diameter. Using the underhand technique. My tongue about a third of the way to 40% of the way down. I definitely I'm scratching around for big wood. Great investment, the barra. It's got everything I need on it, including tools that I'm not using all the time. So I'm lining up on the side that I can see, just resting my thumb against that and just adjusting the, the sign to, to keep it on the cambium. You'll notice it's a little bit proud on that side, the, the rootstock, but not too worried about that. I'm going to use buddy tape to tape the union together. Just stretch this material out a couple of times around the bottom there and spiral as you go up. A couple of times around the top and any leftover we'll just use up going back down. That tape, you don't have to take off, that's why I like it. It'll, it'll break down in the environment. And if you need to, you can cover over the buds. Because I'm needing to save buds, I'm going to cut that sign down now. It's a little bit easier to cut them when they're still, um, instead of being single signs. Okay, we've been grafting for the morning. I'm just gonna um, flush my shears in the um, 
stirulant. Just get a little bit of trash out of the um, jaw. It's pretty simply done. I can just run the tip of my knife through there and get any loose flaky bits of um, graft and stock fibre. Simple as that. I'm trying to avoid going where there's too much curvature on the on the stock. So some of them are just getting cut a little bit lower. We're, we're normally grafting about this height. My 14s will do this one. This tape that I'm using is a 30mm um, non-perforated buddy tape. I find it good for these heavier diameters. But you can see how when you work it and just spiral it, and stretch it and it will cling to itself. And I always make sure that I'm stretching as I, as I pull off at the end. you might be able to see that's already damp. And let's look for the next one. Another great invention of mine is the lanyards for my knives. Stops me losing them, especially in the long grass like this. Even though they've got the bright high vis handles, if they go into the grass, they're definitely difficult to find. Need a bit of smaller wood. It's probably not much point cutting that second bud off, but I will shorten it back to the second bud. A little bit less tape this time for the smaller diameter. Get those ends well anchored.
That helps just levering out as you pull the blade away. So here we are back at the same property a year on, just reviewing how these graphs have gone. This one's a whip and tongue. This one's a cleft. Pretty happy with what I'm seeing. If you like what you're seeing and would like to see more, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.